Hey everybody, I'm Doom. This is another episode of Factorio Megabase. So, last episode we finally finished our run to satellites. Uh, we needed accumulators and radars to finish up the builds necessary for creating satellites for our new space science complex uh, so that in mind we need to make that new outpost and satellites is not a simple process I mean I have all the products necessary now uh, we have the blue chips um, low density structures rocket fuel solar panels accumulators and radar now whether our outposts can keep up with that that's unknown. Um, I'm expecting that out of everything that's there, what will break will be the low density structures. Uh, at least in the short term. Low density structures are 10 per stack. And so low, low density structures, I mean, probably at the current moment, we have quite a bit on hand. Um, currently showing about 23,000 which is actually quite a bit when you consider you know only 10 per stack um, and then after that what will probably break is steel we haven't seen a steel update in a while I mean, we're showing 135,000 average but uh, like I said we haven't dealt with steel in some time uh, low density structures require a fair amount of steel so um, that's probably the order of the cascade events, but until we actually build the satellites and get more space science flowing and a new science build using all the R sciences, um, that's not going to happen. Because right now we're backed up in supplies. We have plenty of everything and we just need to start using those things. So, as I said, first things first is we need to build satellites so a satellite build is either going to look like our yellow science build where we train in you know the six different items and then kind of assemble them in the middle somehow and then send them back out on a train or we go with our current design and we bring in six trains and then with one output I'll put in the middle and then sort of assemble it on either side I'm more inclined to kind of do it this way it's uh, it's duplicatable uh, it's compact well relatively compact though this is gonna be absurdly big with six trains coming in and then plus the one exiting so what we're looking is you know for a place to put an outpost like that of course, you, you look around and you go, well, that's a good spot, and that's a good spot, and that's a good spot, and why don't you choose that spot? Uh, well, ideally, we want it near our new space science outpost, which is down here. And when I built this, I didn't actually have in mind a satellite train. Um, fortunately, I never finished building this, so we could probably pull up these robo ports and stick in another train. And... That's probably what we'll end up doing. Um, but we're going to need to build it, the satellite build, somewhere around here. Um, I have no specific ideas. I mean, other than, you know, we're going to have six types of things incoming. So let's take a look at that list again and kind of think about that. Um, Okay, our blue chips is going to be, you know, coming from up here, our circuit line, our original circuit outposts. Blue chips going to come from up there. Uh, low density structure, I was pointing out, it's over here, right here. And rocket fuel is going to be roughly in the same neighborhood here. solar panels right above that accumulators in this area here so it makes sense to kind of be building here blue circuits will just have to take a 
extra while to get there in radar so it's also here so I'm thinking I'm gonna expand low density structures at least once more so we're gonna be moving in this area with that so we'll just leave that alone this area here we'll just call it reserved uh, we can even mark that reserved oh yes expansion And maybe even mark it with a, the LDS icon. All right. And then, so this area is okay. I mean, obviously we could, um, it's available, but I'm thinking for a big build that requires minimum six trains coming in, uh, seven including the outflow and the possibility of extra trains so that's going to be a big stacker so we're probably looking at somewhere here um i don't like the idea of of course covering this stuff up but it's minimal all these things are replaceable uh, and if we're careful we can keep from covering these guys so maybe we use this entrance here it's already built that was main made for this copper and uh, probably the future of using these we come in we throw the stacker this way and do our build here it's actually not a horrible idea uh, it keeps this track from I mean well one it keeps us from building another entrance to it keeps us you know maybe this north south track a little free of entrances trains coming on and off um, and we don't really have anything coming from that direction everything is like i said accumulators radars low density structure so i mean we would have three trains pretty close by for that and the other things are rocket fuel and solar panels over here They'll just have to come up and over. So, and it's not too bad for actually blue chips. Blue chips coming coming through this. I mean, it's it's not pretty by all, any means, but it's uh, it's doable. Okay, so for this build, let's look at it. Um, one, of course, we're going to need level three assemblers. I don't build anything with level two assemblers anymore, anyways. Um, to begin with, we're gonna. Here's a red circuit build we used earlier. Uh, it's basically gonna be this with, you know, these two sets pulled further apart. So I'm not gonna begin with this blueprint, otherwise, we'd just be tearing up half of our thing. Um, probably maybe start with the track and then lay down the these assemblers on the outskirts once that's done so let's grab track head down there and you know I mean we can grab everything else um, and we're probably gonna need a fair amount of bots we'll probably need more than our nor typical thousand we'll probably need like 2,000 so we'll start with um, our normal two, but I'm going to add the third, and I'm just going to take all 2,000 of those spots. Hopefully I can get them uh, before the, you know, they come to take them out of me. So that's 2,000, and then can't stick them directly back in the box, or the bots will add those plus, and I like to have that as an even 2,000. Okay, so... For this build, let's um, satellites. I do not believe will take productivity modules. Verify that. No. So we're not going to need productivity modules. Um, could we put speed modules? Sure, but we'll probably just do those in the beacons and then decide from there if we need more activity. Whoops. Um, cancel the map mode. So. Let's start with speed modules, beacons, inserters. Oops, not those chests. Chests, chests. We're going to need like a gazillion provider chests. 
Um, may still be able to do this with our typical uh, 28 robot boards. I will stick an extra set in there just in case. Beacons. Um, so 103 assemblers if we're using this blueprint. Modules, chess. Typically, we go with 250 inserters, but this one goes all the way up to 300. And we'll just take an extra 50 for insurance. Speed modules, we need a total of 300. Let's just grab those. So a total of 150 requester chests. We're close. Whole ton. We're gonna maybe not triple, but we're gonna have to go maybe something like 400 provider chests. So double the amount we'll stick in there. Chess. We do have a train car, so we don't have to do tracks. Um, not a full stack. Looks good. So we can hover the mouse over the engine, and it tells us everything that's in the train. If you just do the car, that's all you get. This in the engine totals everything up. Uh, we're gonna need a whole ton of power poles. 150. And some probably. We can always make a fair amount with what, what we carry around. Alright, that's kinda looking good. Um, except for provider chests. I want to go with about 400. So we can send ourselves to copper ore 60. Pay gold. Your 
just joining, we are working, or we are aiming to build our satellite outpost. It's a big build, it's six incoming trains and one outgoing train. Um, kind of on that note, um, you know, I'll start those trains back at the base. I was thinking about turning the train around and going to get those. Once we get that built, we're going to have to start seven more trains. Wow. I mean, that's going to almost put up, up us around 350 trains for this map. That's really something else. Okay. Well, technically, we are not going this way. This is going to be a sort of custom change to this build. Since the save game finishes, we will start modifying. So this will change to a chain signal. It's kind of ugly, honestly. Um, how many trains we got coming here anyways? It's three, it's going to be a little ugly. Uh, and it is three. Well, as long as these load up relatively fast, um, we let's change that to that. Literally can't put those there, otherwise we'll have a train permanently cut across. Uh, we can change that to a chain signal though. And then change those to rail signals. Uh, that might have been actually what that train was waiting for. Actually, no, I'd hover over it. So this train's waiting to come in. Um, let's continue our track down. So when I get my train fixed here. All right, so we should straight. And then we can, yep, still on the curve. Train from the right. Yeah, I forgot a rail signal there, so we'll still have to put that in. Well, I'm surprised that guy jumped in, anyways. That was a little strange. It looks like it didn't need that. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe because this light was green and it didn't care. But this would have been the block. I figured I would have blocked it. I don't know. Um, I must want to make it try it again to see if that was a bug or something. Alright, so. Um, what we need is our stacker. something like this. It's kind of nice if it doesn't block go over that copper and it doesn't. Um, I'm going to make this double big. I probably should switch armors. All right, so as our 
is just so slow. Even though this one's probably used up some of its energy. stuff, but I'm going to try to avoid coal. It's not quite avoiding it. Swing it out wider just a tad. Now, initially, Second. something. Makes me, I don't know, it's going to be a lot of trains coming. Do I want separate stackers for those things? Like maybe a stacker for one set, and a stacker for the other set, two input lanes, uh, potentially two exit lanes. I suppose we got room to uh, change that as it may be uh, in the future. Most of those trees are going to be coming up. It's here, kind of at an angle used to be my old border wall. So let's, uh, I guess, kind of build out these. out further. Uh, no, we can't. Because uh, this, I mean, this has room, but limited room. I mean, I suppose we could put this, you know, back further this way. As I can tell, we got sort of infinite room to go that way. So maybe with that in mind. Just want to kind of want these guys to all share. That's not going to quite work. Share as much track as possible. Uh, input lanes, well, as long as they're sharing the same stacker, they can share input lanes. So 
that's actually quite the idea. So if we have, these are where signals can start. Interesting luck. I like it. Um, so that's an exit lane. Exit. No, we don't. Entrance. Entrance. Exit. So it's sort of both entrance and exit. Exit. Entrance only. Entrance. Exit. Exit. Entrance. Entrance. Or, well. Entrance, entrance, exit, exit, exit. Um, actually, this is both entrance. So everything. Exit, exit. A little bit more there. So, let's grab my station blueprint. Oh, uh, yes, I do have these signals backwards. Kind of in my experience, I don't think it really matters a ton. I've seen pretty much everything kind of work. Um, debating on that right there. providers. Let's grab a different new blueprint for that. Right click the track off. are in the right place. It's a big blueprint to get wrong, but it looks good. You know, the real question is, 
If I put RoboPort here, yeah, it looks like they'll connect. Even backing it up a space, they would connect from one side to the other. You know, you want to see that. Something like that. To that. Or that. Okay, so I am yeah, this side I'm likely going to have a tree right about there. together to get our train a little closer to our activity. Eventually this mine over here to the right is going to, you know, it's going to disappear someday. So, we won't have to worry about that long term. And obviously if it proves too much of a hindrance, we can, we can just get rid of it. And of course we'll want some signals for the trains coming in. signal just before the stacker. And we should probably add some signals out here. As the trains accelerate, I'll give the trains leaving this area a chance to you know, start their acceleration. And it's kind of just before another intersection, so we'll add a few more. All right, so that's quite a bit of signals. And we brought some extras with us, so we're good. Grab some of those here in a second. Guys, cross your chest. You can probably have to grab inserters. You know what? I know I didn't bring enough inserters because I didn't think about it, but all these chests need inserters. Click that and grab, or 
a red circuit build over here and grab this Get rid of that. Do that. Whoops. No. Shoot. Actually, you can click on back one. Yeah. Yeah. I've actually deleted all the inserters, and I didn't want to do that. Track. Signals. curious about you know that these uh, where we grab those uh, chests from it seems like they didn't have this requester chest for fuel or I just didn't grab wide enough wherever I grabbed it from where it calls just in this area though so I thought I don't know. I didn't grab the whole thing set up. Okay. Um, don't want this enable disable. So let's remove those. This is for. We need to remove that. 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 Set this back down. And remove this again. Okay. as well. Okay. Um, we need to do our requester chess. in there somewhere.
bug. Um, need to fix it. Where am I getting it from? Radar. There's a chest not connected to its inserter. And this blueprint I keep duplicating it everywhere. Not closer to the fault, not close enough. radar chest fortunately they haven't been set yet so radar stacked to 50 so 2166.7 radars well one yeah so 167 So are all these red circuits have that problem? Chest in the wrong place? Yes. It's in the wrong place. That's in the wrong place. That's in the wrong place. And that's in the wrong place. Well that's just wonderful. Okay. Another 8K, 42K more. Radar's ready to roll. So our big problem with this build so far is iron. We've got plenty of gears. Circuit, green circuit comes in at 32,000 per train, so it's, you know, it stacks to 200. Iron plate. Um, what gear stacks to 100, iron plate stacks to 100, right? Where's my gears build? This is got 8,000 in there, right? Or 16? Yeah. All right, so that was a little slight detour there. Um, well, we're gonna use that. Let me get rid of some stuff there. Let me get rid of these. Pretty much need to get rid of all this. Whoops. Well, if I can just right click the chest. Can't do the insert. Oh, can't do the darn it. Because I got rid of all the provider chests up here at the same time. So, any of these only. Should be good. Um. that after I set this down, but I mean, if I were to do this, is that a decent match? Wire? Oh, because I have all the robo ports down. Let's get these ones across down. Let's 
seems relatively okay. I mean, perfectly lined up would be something like so. But then if you look at the beacons and stuff, the assemblers on the top side that sticks out to the right and on the bottom left, so this is actually looks right if I line these chests up. This part isn't critical, but if I want to use a six item build at some time in the future, we have all this wired up, this doesn't connect. Somehow this is going to connect, it's just... Hmm. It usually connects. Yes, you can say, you know, more we'll watch it. It's these seem better spaced right here. Let's do that. I'm sure that would connect now, yes. Besides, when you go to hover your mouse over any of this, it'd be nice if they are all talking. substations to do power. Uh, I think if we try to get substations in all of this it would be quite difficult. Okay, well we can yeah we can get this.
Alright, all good. I just need to build everything, so let's switch armor again. And just start doing it. inserters so let's change the ones we can and then get the other ones in a little bit so there's two there and they're on opposite sides okay brought enough chests, thankfully. Um, let's switch back armors. And I'm going to shift right click one. And so, kind of surprised at those numbers. It takes a hundred to make. How long does it take to five seconds? You would think it would do you know, five into thirty six six times that number. I don't know it doesn't. And why only sixty two rocket fuel when it takes a hundred, right? No, only fifty. Okay. Yeah, not sure. takes 40 divided by 12 it's probably a, what 16 no 40 divided by 12 would be like three something yeah so we'll set each of these chests really even four is overkill we don't even need this many chests A inserter can hold twelve. So let's 
So set this to seven. So seven times six is 42 and 40 will fit on a car. So that looks good. Well, nearly ready to turn this thing on. Um, let's set stations. I can get the, when we're back in town, I can get satellite. SA is sulfuric acid, SL steel, SP, well, where do I want that one anyways? ST, do I have an ST? Might be stone. Um, let's call it just sat load. So, for satellites, processing is stacked to 100, solar panels stacked to 50, accumulators 50, rocket fuel 10, low density structure 10, and radar is 50. So, for the big thing, we will do blue chips in one middle spot. And BC unload. Ten and ten, fifty, fifty, and fifty. So um, and it, but it only takes five radar. So let's do the radar there. Set RD unload. Then set LDS unload. Accumulators, I don't need them AC. AC. So AC and load. And solar panels would be able to use SP. And SP. So Okay. And let's replace that radar. I'm gonna run out of here and then we can't see anything. Um, can I set it down here somewhere? Yes. About there. That looks like an okay place. Uh, we are going to need a station and fuel station. There we go. Stations were doing good.
three, but that's not going to do it. Rail signal. These guys in there. And rail signal again. there so don't need that but this would possibly be a train or rail train and our own train all right so this would be set station Music is kind of loud. Um, I'm using a. Let's just dump that one. A different load because uh, there was an error updating to 1647. So my main launching of the game. Um, application factory application wasn't working so right pop these guys come back and grab this and then go back home we just need a whole ton of inserters, basically, and some assemblers, but I always get 50 when the bots load me up. this no. No, we'll go with signals and hopefully I'll get that as I go by can reach this this good um, and go with signals for that did I put go with signals there yes I did all right oops let's get the front tree won't make any mistakes. Uh, can we go backwards? So far we can. I'll get those go signals back here in. Sad station in.
as long as he's... Well, let's see. I've already got the radar train. So, let's do... Set. RD unload. Empty. So he's going. Probably also have the accumulator train. Seven trains. Um, anything else we custom make for this place? Uh, rocket fuel. Um, no. no. We do have a rocket fuel build, of course. Because, you know, the space science need it. Zigzag. I mean, I could attempt to send it there, but it still might come up here, over, and then to this one, and then do a loopy loop, and then come back. So that's not ideal. Really need the stone build to go away. It is what it is. All right, so. Train fuel unload, so that train's not operating yet. Alright, so I got the radar and accumulator. Um, set. Accumulator BC is. Blue chips. Let's just search BC. Blue chips load. Inventory full. And set BC and load. Automatic. Automatic. We'll get some more fuel there. Solar panels. And solar panel unload. What else? Guess easy way to find out. 
Go to the outpost and give me my station names. No. No trains with rocket fuel. For the satellites. Oh, I just dumped four wagons in there. Duh. Well, I guess it was only one egg exit. So, that made sense. Okay. So, um, and we actually need to make a satellite train. station we'll be bumping into that train more than likely uh, how many instruments am I missing 66 I'm gonna have a hundred on me suppose it should be enough we'll grab an extra stack just to be sure Shall be this, look at this beautiful sucker. We got everything in here yet? Guess we'd have some satellites in here.
Man, I love this activity. This is one super station. Super outpost, I suppose. zero everything and then change this to rocket or no dream fuel it was rocket fuel at one point all right now we're definitely using over the typical thousand Surely we've gotten a load of blue chips in, yes. So, how many? We haven't made any satellites? What are we missing? We have radars. We have whatever this is. LDSs. Blue chips. Rocket fuel. Got any rocket fuel in? Yes. I mean, this is sitting with all six of them. I guess it's getting the proper amount. Maybe I'm overkill on production because literally none of these can make a single one because I just got so many of them. So why does that one have like 400 or something? Or maybe it's the, no, it's the assembler itself has like 300 in it. Rocket fuel train and the LDS train definitely need an extra hand. I mean, they only stacked a 10 each. Uh, so, I mean, maybe even two trains each. nice traffic jam. Okay, uh, well, let's set you back to manual. Uh, our satellite train's not bad. Uh, yeah, we do have the rocket, or the fuel train, except for, it's on its way out, so it's not that big a deal. Let's just park that in a safe spot, though. should be a chain signal. We will give you 
you. So we can go this way. Yes, we can. Yeah, where's my guy? I'm going to stand right in a bad spot. satellites yet? No. So this was definitely so overkill that they actually can't make anything because they all require so much stuff. Just remove one row of each side. I mean, sure, will it work? Yes. It will work eventually. I mean, think about it. I have one satellite assembler making all the satellites for eight rocket launch. So, Technically speaking, I don't need all that many. And what, they take five seconds to build or something? So the, the real thing I needed was to be able to bring six trains together. I don't need a million assemblers. So that was a mistake on my part. Uh, do I really want um, all those extra trains? I'll at least make one extra for each of those. Suppose I should find a train and copy it. So, wait, wait, I'll be this one. Where is he at? He is on his way out. So this guy here.
two of those guys on a much reduced assembly level. Should be good. Let's go back and reduce that build. At the very least, we pull assembler, I mean, um, inserters in the chest or something. Or erase the, you know, the, the requests. I mean, does it consume power? Sure. Are we okay? I mean, we're, you know, we're using 17 gigawatts, but we have quite the extra. Sure, I put a chain signal before the stacker, and I did. stuff. Oh, trash, more than 50 radars. You yeah, guys take all my stuff. A little cheap. stuff in these guys. Why aren't you guys working? What do you need? Rocket fuel and LDSs.
you know, it'd probably be easier if I just did this. And then went to town driving stuff off. back here and maybe once we're done we will but I probably need to do these guys too. Otherwise, they're going to continue to get supplies.
to be in. Have any satellites done? Yes, we do. Yay! In fact, that train is full. And I need to set up a. This red to that. That red to can it reach that? Yes. Alright, so this is each plus zero. Uh, we can just answer satellites. satellites and now we should have our total we just have a ton of junk on us Ooh, this is going to take a while
Ooh, stop giving me so many accumulators. Fuel and LDS just keeping this thing from falling. Frankly, we're almost done with this. <laughs> we're with this side. Let's check out a few things like how rocket fuel is doing. Yeah, it's hurting. One hundred fifty-five thousand solid fuel on hand, but overall production is hurting. Well, seven K. Still a fair amount. I mean, it's only uh, 1.6k per train, so it's still got enough, but. Shrink this a bunch. Training coming. Get there that fast, so. though.
might wonder what you know I'm doing putting these in kind of the wrong chests but you know the bots from this side will pick up on this side you know say accumulators before the accumulators way over there so it's not a bad method eventually these will all be cleared out Necessary things. Belts. does it
because we have some more of these. I guess it's really a 12 in it, no. There's just 12 in the system. Right there. It's ridiculous how expensive these puppies are. That really only a handful of these guys can do.
Well, if you're just joining us, uh, we have built a new satellite outpost. It takes six different types of materials and outputs one train load of satellites. I totally built too many assemblers. There's just literally not enough supplies to support them all. So I've already removed one whole row on both sides and I'm removing a few extras along the edges uh, to try to give us, you know, try to concentrate the deliveries to a few assemblers. I mean, back in my main base, I have one satellite assembler for all my rockets. So really, I just totally went overboard. And just concentrate this down. find some sort of sweet spot. Once we get a better handle on it. I mean, this is probably still overkill, but at least these guys are working. beacons consume power even if they're not actually helping anything so just get rid of them I mean I probably don't need beacons at all these guys aren't I mean, what's the point they don't take very long it's the hard part is actually getting the supplies necessary for them to do something satellite train and start getting space science. So 
So we're going to have to remove this and add another input tree. So did I make a space station? <laughs> that actually sounds funny. Um, SS Space Science. But I did not. Oh no, there it is. SS Station. I really ought to change that to Space Station. I like that better. <laughs> SS Station. For Space Science Station. ago and I just didn't realize how difficult it was going to be to get satellites here. It's quite the ramp up to be able to do that. At least by the train load. These guys got any bots in them. Exit, go together. Alright, so well, it's good. Need feel a chest. Necessary. In fact, I probably could do without all of them. That's a little weird. All right. Um. This is set to load. First train load of satellites is on the way. And we just add a this is set for three thousand three hundred per chest. It's kinda crazy. But space science stacks to one thousand. Am I out of well, we could probably handcraft one.
are these guys? Um, do I even have anything requesting satellites? Doesn't look like it. I'll have to set that up in a minute. Can I move? Move, move, move. Alright. So it's probably SS load. Inserter for this. Oh, how many should we read a request? Two, five, one. I mean, one's probably plenty. I mean, as fast as these things will be, I don't think. I think a bot can carry one faster. And if it can't, well, then what's the point of having two? Well, because the bots can carry up to three, I guess. Uh, so yeah, let's make that three, or maybe even four. That way when it's down to one, the bots will bring more. Here. incoming. We should have a whole bunch of rockets launching off. Uh, except we're not set to auto launch, are they? This will be a little loud, but four rockets at once. thought it would be. Where all the sound go? Just disappeared. That's kind of cool. It goes me and bang, bang. Except for when it goes to auto save. Yeah, the real question is how are we doing with LDSs? Is this properly wired? No. As I suspected, we were going to need more production. When we have 100,000 steel, we have everything to make them, it's just they're so darn slow. And, you know, we're probably going to need more rocket control units as well. Currently, we have 23,000. We don't need as many rocket control units as LDSs. LDSs is used for a few things. Satellites. Um, and space science. So, I guess it's not a ton of things, but it's more than rocket control units. Rocket control units aren't used in satellites. Now the 
sound doesn't change even if you move away. But if you're not near it when it starts, then you're okay. Train car will hold forty thousand. But this is nice to see we actually got this part working. We have three hundred satellites on hand. That's actually quite a bit. going to be this episode. We did what we really set out to do. And after that, we're going to have to probably expand the LDSs because we got, what, two trains waiting for it. So yeah, got enough we need at least one more outpost, probably two. Which will push things, because we'll need more steel. Steel's probably our biggest item. Copper's easy, plastic's easy. Um, steel's relatively hard. It's just because steel production is slow, and, you know, it's a big iron crunch. So. Anyways, I appreciate you watching. If you like, obviously hit like, subscribe, and we will catch you next time.